Michael, um, you truly are a globetrotter. You seem to have been everywhere. When you go on your travels around the world, are you astonished at the popularity of Python and, and how, re how far it reaches? Are you bemused by it? Are you gratified by it? What's, what's the effect that it, it has on it? Well, I'm bemused because, I mean, we didn't expect Python to last longer than about two or three years. When we wrote, that, that was the life of a television program then. You know, just, and, and nothing was stored and kept. It's not like now you've got lots of different media can, and YouTube and all that. So I, I think the very fact that Python still survives and did so by the skin of its teeth. Yeah, Howard Dell, who was our video editor, uh, announced that they were going to the BBC were going to wipe the tapes, um, the first series, uh, in a in month in a month's time, and uh, so we smuggled the, uh, the the tapes out of the BBC, and uh, with Howard Dell's connivance, and recorded it on a, a, a Philips VCR, which was a <laughs> About this big, yes. <laughs> and uh, and I thought that that's going to be the only uh, archive of the uh, of the shows, um, but fortunately it, it then sold to the, uh, to, the uh, to the to the states and uh, to the M M M PBS in the states, public broadcasting station in the states, and so that uh, so we were rescued. And actually, we were very lucky because we were we went out the first week that um, uh, BBC One went into colour, mm. and so otherwise we'd have been made in black and white. Um, and, uh, and 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 uh, I don't think the shows have uh, lasted as long as they've had. There's a, a, an interesting thing talking about <coughs> travelling because I was in Croatia filming and, and talking to um, people who. You know, been Yugoslavs before, part of Yugoslavia. And I remember that we sold um, Python to Yugoslavia very early on. We also, actually, the first sale, um, foreign sale, was to Pakistan. Apparently, it was a total mistake. They just, they thought it was a circus, you know, and after 13 shows. Where are the, you know, where, where are the acrobats? You know, where's the clowns and all that sort of thing? So they had to give their money back. But Yugoslavs took it and... And I met some people in, in Croatia, so we loved Python because um, um, Marshal Tito allowed, he was actually quite liberal in some ways, and he allowed people to watch foreign television shows. So Python was current there, and it was kind of used as a badge of courage. If you, if you watched Python, talked about Python, you could relate your own sort of um, discontent with your own government by saying you watched Python. So it, was, it meant something, they kind of rallied round and laughed at uh, their own authority figures through Python. I thought that was quite interesting.